the morning. Lots of thoughts today as I head back to the trail. The first one was in the privy. Well, the first one to mention as I was carefully selecting the number of squares of toilet paper. Uh, <laughs> it's amazing how mindful you become on trail. I am so careful with drops of water. I am careful with toilet paper. I, you know, just, you are so limited in resources sometimes. They become so valuable. And that's such a great lesson, such a great practice to be mindful and to be appreciative and not to waste. The other thing I've been thinking about is how hard this trail is. And I didn't know that. I mean, I did, but I know at least a half a dozen and now probably more than a dozen people who have attempted the trail. And out of all of those people, they all succeeded, all of them. And so I don't know in the books that you read, right? You don't read any book about somebody who attempted and then failed. You just read about all the successes. And so for me, I feel like that's made the trail seem easier or seem more attainable. I knew it was gonna be hard, but it felt attainable. And especially these last few days now, it's been 25 days since I've had a break. Um, it's feeling harder and harder and harder. And I know I need a break and that might change everything. So I'm, I'm taking that, but um, it's just, yeah. I have more respect, more like, um, wow, hands up. <laughs> Congratulations, you really did a hard thing. And it's not just the physical hard that I am referring to. It's like the mental stuff too. The days like today where I just wanna be done. I wanna be done, I wanna go home, I wanna finish this so that I can move on um, to something new. I can continue forward. This feels like a long time doing the same thing and I'm not getting anywhere. I'm not necessarily getting anywhere, but, and I don't have bucket lists and big goals and all of that, but I just feel like this is a long time to do the same thing over and over and over again. The trail kind of goes straight up on this rock slab. It's short, but unexpected. The trail kind of goes straight up on this rock slab. It's short, but unexpected. Just missed it. There was a fawn standing on trail and tried to get my camera out in time. But I think you saw it walk away. It went over to its mom. I'm thinking this morning how I would reorganize the states if I could redo the trail, like pick it up off the map and put it back together like a puzzle. And I would start out with Pennsylvania. There's really not a lot of elevation, so you don't need your trail legs. The rocks slow you down. So it would be okay if you only did like eight to 10 miles. It would take you all day just because you're watching your foot placement and your feet would be fresh. They wouldn't have had 1200 miles of pounding. So they would potentially not be quite as sore. You could start off with new shoes, and so Pennsylvania makes a good starting state. And then I would move to Virginia. So Virginia is equally um, kind and that you do get some elevation gains and losses. And there are lots of fields, so that would mix it up a bit. And there's not as many rocks, so your feet would get a break. You could be starting to feel your trail legs and you'd start to get some views in some really interesting areas like uh, um, Shenandoah and you would have Grayson and 
the triple, uh, the triple crown, right? So Mac McAfee knob and, and that would come so you get some views. And then, then I think I would jump to Maine. Um, not to Katahdin, but to the foraging of the rivers and just get, mix it up a bit. Let it be a little different. And then come back down to Georgia and Tennessee and New Hampshire, or New North Carolina. And now you have your trail legs and you can definitely do some of the bigger climbs and you see the balds and you see Max Patch. And so now you're starting to get all these views during a time where you've been on trail for a while and maybe, maybe you just need that inspiration. And then I would go to New Hampshire because New Hampshire is like my favorite. And so you get these epic, epic views. So it just gets better and better and better. And then after New Hampshire, you can be tired. So come down, do the New York delis, New Jersey and Maryland. Actually that kind of like, Maryland's got to go somewhere. I don't know where, but it's fast. And West Virginia, um, that's fast. So maybe stick that on Pennsylvania, I don't know. And then when you are done with your rest in those states and the, the delis and all of that kind of stuff, then go back up and finish the summit. I think that would be a perfect way to do this journey. Well, that's a lot of mud. Glad I don't have to walk through that. <laughs> Ruffled grouse, of course, we're in Pennsylvania. It's the first one I've seen here in PA. Actually, I didn't see it, I just heard it. Here comes another big puddle of mud and it is bringing to mind the fording in Maine. Um, I reached out to another southbounder that just finished Maine and is, um, I think she just finished McCusick Notch. But anyway, she said the fording is waist high. So might not be walking through mud, but pretty soon I'm gonna be walking through waist high water. If you're not familiar with the fording in Maine, Maine doesn't have any bridges. You walk through the water when you're on trail. Here's my lookout for the day, I think. It's actually been more elevation gain than I thought today. Um, expected just a smooth downhill. So it's taking me a little bit longer than expected. Today is a six and a half mile day. Huh, look at that. It's weird to find random things like this in the middle of the woods. There's another piece to it. So it must have been must have been something, <laughs> obviously. I just don't know what it was. Here we go. I feel like I haven't seen flowers <clears throat> in a while. Haven't seen rhododendrons in a while. Would love it if the trail would smooth out a little bit so I could pick up my pace on the way down. I'm meeting up with family again. And I'm excited. It's kind of dark in through here this morning. There's that green tunnel. I have a mile and a half left to go. And then I'm taking a break. I will relax for the next, I don't know, 24 hours at least. I'm not sure what the plans are once I meet up with family. I know I will, <laughs> can't see the river down there, the road, but you can hear it. I know I will be with them for tonight and uh, maybe tomorrow, I don't know. 
We'll find out when I get there. This gives a better view of what's below. There's the road, the river, Delaware Water Gap. It's a creek. Wow, that's what the sign says. But it's a water source. And I haven't seen one of those in Pennsylvania in a long time. Oh my god, day hagars make me laugh. <laughs> As I get closer, there are more people coming up the trail. And there was this one guy listening to a podcast and it was blasting loud out of his phone. And then there was this group of smelly hikers, you know, the perfumed type. And then just now I walked by a combination of the two <laughs> and definitely smelly hikers, but also like blasting music from a portable speaker of some sort. It's just so funny. I know, I'm, I know, I know, I'm judging. That's okay. I'm judging with a smile and love in my heart. <laughs> this is so cool. It's a pond full of flowers. I think there's a better view over here. So many. I'm in the home stretch now, and I'm ready to be done for the day. It's only six and a half miles, and surprisingly, my feet are doing really well. And I don't know if it's because of the use of that massage thing or um, this cream that my friend gave me or if it is just that I've been massaging my feet or maybe last night being up in the hammock. I don't know. No matter why, I am grateful that my feet don't hurt quite so bad. They still, um, I can still feel it every time I, every time I step, but at least they don't feel as swollen. Oh, look at that. There is a little craft show right in the middle of the trail. Well, no, I was thinking, I, I, I needed to add another mile today. I didn't realize that my PA map ended. So I need to go to the New Jersey map. And that takes me across this bridge. Crossing Pennsylvania into New Jersey.